Welcome to the African Utility Week studio. I am Denise, content manager for Engerati.com, and um, we have the privilege to be interviewing uh, Mr. Rob Dupol. Um, he is an advisory partner um, for, for ENY. Um, how, uh, how's the conference been so far? It's been great. It's yeah. been uh, my first time in Cape Town. Oh, good. So, yeah, Welcome. I've been enjoying the, the warm welcome from Cape Town. But yeah, <laughs> it's been a fascinating uh, couple of days so far. Good, good. Um, do you want to just give me a bit of insight with regards to um, what you hope to achieve at the conference um, this year? Yeah, indeed. So we, uh, so EY, obviously got a big practice yeah. uh, in in Africa. Yeah. But we're finding probably more and more pull um, from our African practices, right. uh, particularly in power and utilities as well, just because of I suppose so much is happening in this sector. Yeah. We're doing a lot of work around Europe and around the US and so forth. And I think more and more, um, both myself and colleagues and so forth, are being asked to come and. and I suppose provide some insights from our learnings in the more sort of mm -hmm. mature markets mm -hmm. into the African market. Yeah, um, you, you were telling me that your expertise or your focus is, is um, more on the smart metering aspect. Can you tell me what the plans are as far as smart metering is concerned? Um, uh, specifically, should we talk about South Africa to start off with since we are here? Yes, uh, yes. What's happening with smart metering in South Africa? Do you feel that um, deployment is happening fast enough? Why has it taken so long? Where are we at the moment with smart yeah, metering? Yeah, it's, it's a really fascinating because I, I suppose the, the drivers for smart metering here are very different to yeah. I think in some of the more mature markets. Yeah. And, and uh, a lot of the, I suppose, the more successful smart metering deployments yeah. have been almost mandated, government mandated, right. usually and typically on the back of energy efficiency. Yeah. So the idea that if we measure and monitor how much energy we use, we'll yeah. use less. Yeah. And that's predominantly what's happening, say, in Europe. And I yeah. think here in, in, in South Africa, you've got some different drivers. So yes, energy efficiency you know, is, is always good. Yeah. But actually, you've also got things like debt and, and theft as well, which smart yeah. metering can play a, a massive role in. So I think the, the business case for smart metering is very strong. The right. challenge, I suppose, is, is getting the investment and getting the infrastructure right to attract that investment to allow the programs to, to take off. Yeah. And uh, yes, I mean, uh, from what I understand, there are huge amounts of technical and non-technical losses within yes, this country and indeed. in most parts of the world, uh, I suppose. But um, uh, how, how would smart metering assist with that? How, how would they help the utility as well as the consumer with regards to that? I suppose consumer at the end of the day would get a lower bill, um, but how, how would it help the utility? Yeah, it, I suppose from a utility perspective, it, it, it's, it, it allows them to better understand their network, better yeah. understand you know, what's Just happening more in visibility, the network. more visibility, right? More visibility, yeah. more data. I mean, that's mm -hmm. one of the challenges that they'll get so much data and what to do with it. Yeah. But you do start to get accurate reads, accurate billing. Yeah, yeah. So it should clear up a lot of billing discrepancies because it's real time and it's accurate. Yeah. And I think a lot of the times we get into disputes around payments is because it's not accurate and people dispute the accuracy and by the time you come back then you need another meter read and That's so it. forth and it's a, it's yeah. a cycle. Yeah. So I think it, it, it does really improve on, on that and also the data that comes back from the smart metering allows you to understand how your network's performing yeah. better and can also identify where you've got potential losses. So you can sort of narrow down within the network perhaps where you're seeing spikes or, yeah. or perhaps not as much usage as you would expect yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and start to understand and investigate more locally what's happening with the network. Would the smart need to be part of a solution to um, resolving our load shedding issue in some way? Would, would um, ESCOM be able to better yeah, predict I think it's... Um, you know, load shedding? Uh, could you um, sort of have more uh, voluntary um, you know, you know, like, yep. moving off exactly, and I think if you look at the US, for yep. example, and demand side management, what's happening in the US? Exactly, it's yeah. really taking off in, in certain areas mm. of the US where mm. uh, consumers like you and me yeah. are, are, are signing up to these. We can opt in. We can opt in. Get exactly. paid for it. And get exactly right, and, and uh, <laughs> reduce out to me. back to the, what's in it for the customer. You can reduce yeah. your energy bill and also yeah. help out, you know, an energy sh shortage. Yeah. Um, and you know, smart metering allows that. You really have to have that smart infrastructure. To make exactly. that a reality, yeah. So, you know, when a situation in here with all the load shedding and so forth, I think that demand side management is going to become even more important. Absolutely. You, know, you, can, you can keep building generation, keep building plant, um, but that's very costly. It takes yeah. time, mm. and actually, a lot of time we're, we're building it for peak. Yeah. And if we can do other things around reducing that peak, 
then we have less need for generation. Interesting. So the smart meter could actually save a considerable amount of money at the end of the day, both for the consumer and for the utility. Indeed. Why hasn't this been snapped up earlier? What, that's, what have that's been, a what really have been good the question. challenges or you know, what have been the obstacles do you think? Red tape? I think well, I think there's a number, a number of them. I think if I start with the customer first, yeah. I, I don't think uh, we're particularly good as an industry. I don't think utilities have been really particularly good at explaining to consumers just what, you know, how energy yeah. works, how it flows. Uh, smart metering deployments globally, I think, are also characterised by perhaps poor communication with customers. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then people get concerned about privacy, they get concerned about what's happening with this data. Even safety. Safety, yeah. ex ex exactly. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we've done a good enough job of explaining the, the benefits, and not just to the individual, but also the sort of the, the broader benefits for the community, yeah. for industry, for the country. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's all the onus is on us to do a much better education point mm -hmm. to make you know, people more receptive to smart yeah. meter deployments. That's, that's probably one thing. Um, I mean, that's a whole program and a whole project all by itself, you it, know, to it engage is. better with your customer. It is. Because, I mean, some utilities just don't have that existing relationship from the start. And so it's, it's developing that relationship all over again. Correct. Strengthening it and then introducing the smart meter. So it's quite a, this is quite a process. It's, it's very, very difficult, exactly, because <laughs> they're not coming from a position of, of high trust. Yeah. So you're trying to build a, a dialogue and a conversation with a customer who typically it doesn't hold you in high degree at this mm. point in time because of some of the challenges. I know it's probably true here in, in uh, South Africa as well. So you're starting from a difficult position to have the conversation. Yeah. But we have to have the conversation. We have to have a bigger conversation around what our energy you know, yeah. opportunities are for us with, with smart metering. Yeah. Um, so do you think that that is the, the major challenge, do you think, in South Africa specifically um, has, has been an issue? And, and what about um, the, the capital to set these up? Um, has that been a, a problem as well, I just lack of funds? Indeed, it is. And so you've got, I suppose, one, there's a the customer engagement. Then if you come yeah. back to the what's stopping the from a capital side, yeah. you've got to, you know, it's, it's not as if it's the only thing you can deploy capital on. So yeah. you've got infrastructure, you've got networks, you've got yeah. generation. So all these things are very capital intensive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so where does the smart a smart metering deployment sit yeah. amongst all these other you know capital heavy yeah. demands, if you like? Yeah. Uh, and and that's that's difficult to get that balance right. But what what is for sure is that they they probably all need investment. So yeah. then you come down back to the how do you create an environment yeah. that can attract that investment from outside of the sector? For sure. Uh, that give returns, mm. yeah, fair returns to attract the investment, but yeah. not returns that obviously have to be passed on to customers. Yeah, exactly, because the customer at the end of the day is, is, is the one who's going to either accept that meter or not. Correct, correct. Um, wh where do you see the smart metering um, plan going forward in, in South Africa? When do you think everybody will be linked up with one? And <laughs> That's a very good <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I knew. There'd be some vendors here would be very keen to know that answer, wouldn't they? What is um, the prediction? Uh, look, I, I think what's happening in, in South Africa particularly, it's, it's very regional, very local in yes. terms of the plans. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and that's that's the right approach because each different part of the of the country has got yeah. different different drivers and different demands. Um, but but I think you know if you if you, I mean 2020 is fantastic, isn't it? Because I love to I can't wait till we get to 2020 because everything's going to be solved by 2020. Because, oh, that's the idea. Yeah, we've had yeah. every program, any really big sort <laughs> renewable of renewable goals, smart metering programs. Everyone's aiming for 2020. Everyone's aiming for 2020. Yeah. So by 2021, we're all going to be you know living in a fantastic yeah. world and fantastic environment. Yeah. But <laughs> I, look, I think these things are going to stretch for the next decade. Yeah. You know, it's, um, it would be great to be able to have that infrastructure in place sure. sooner, yeah. but I think it's going to be a, um, you know, a, quite a long journey. Yeah. Uh, and we'll have to see some successes, and we have to get that customer engagement. We have to get yeah. people actually pulling for it and, yeah. and asking why, why aren't we doing what they've done over there? Yeah. And I don't think you've got that yet in, in, mm. in South Africa at this moment in time. Well, I mean, just from my perspective, I live in Cape Town and I don't think I've ever been offered anything like that. So, uh, you know, I'm in the business, so I understand it and I write yes. about it, yes. but no one's offered it to me. Uh, so. You should go around here. Surely there's someone to <laughs> <laughs> give you one. <laughs> but that's the thing, is that your utility should be offering you this that's piece right. of equipment that's at the right. end of the day, and, yeah. and that opportunity hasn't been uh, given, you know. Well, yeah, I think um, utilities have typically in the past, I mean, yeah. they send you a bill, yeah. uh, and that's pretty much the only engagement you get. Yes, that's it. And the only conversation you have is when you 
not happy with the bill. Exactly. Uh, and yeah. that, that's going to change. Mm. And mm. I think, you know, and that, so therefore not really used to doing it or set up to have that conversation in, yeah. in level of engagement. Yeah. All right. Um, projects um, within South Africa at the moment that you're pretty excited about? Uh, there's, well, there, we're getting a lots of, uh, I suppose, questions and, and, and uh, requests, I suppose, for assistance yeah. in, in the strategy around smart deployment. Uh, in South Africa itself or Africa as a continent? Africa as a continent. Yeah. Africa as a continent. So yeah. some, some pull in South Africa and the local, you know, local practice are responding yeah. to those. Um, but also across yeah, broader, broader countries, if you look in uh, uh, across Ghana, uh, Nigeria, Kenya, they're all, and pretty much most countries actually have got some form of trialing a smart metering deployment. Interesting. Uh, okay. And they are, you know, in that trial, assessing yeah. the benefits, assessing the options, and, and looking at you know, what what is our plan to roll to yeah. roll out. And I suppose that's where we get involved, yeah. helping each individual, you know, organisation, be it the utility, be it the government, around yeah. what might their bespoke plan need to look like. Um, my last question for you. If you could give uh, utilities um, suggestions or advice, what would it be? I think it would be around uh, being a little bit more confident in the engagement they have to have with their, with their customers. Yeah. I think for too long uh, the utility industry has been very inward thinking yeah. and very much around what the industry thinks is the best for consumers. And I think that needs to change. Yeah. Uh, so I think my my view would be my my advice, I suppose, would be yeah. you've got to start to engage in a different way and have a different conversation with your consumers, be they both domestic consumers like you yeah. and me, or, or yeah. your, um, your commercial, your commercial industrial. industrial as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, makes sense to me because at the end of the day, they're the ones paying the bills. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. I Thank trust you. you'll enjoy the rest of the conference and, and that will be a successful one. Indeed. And um, to our viewers, thank you very much for joining us. You'll see on the site there are a number of uh, studio interviews that you can um, have a look at. Um, enjoy them. Thanks, thanks for joining us.